Hello everyone. This lecture is part of a paper on youth media and society. In this lecture, you will get an insight to the transforming notions in identity formation among the youth as a result of changing media landscape with the intervention and population of the new media. We will also address the various factors conditioning a youth's identity formation and how the digital era is influencing every such factor. The media landscape throughout the world is heading towards rapid transformation with the intervention of new media. From economy to social domain, the new media has affected every nook and corner of our daily life. Its penetration into everyday life is transforming the world into a digitally dependent society. Most significantly, it is the youth who has been fast and early adopters of the digitally transformed society. So much so that their beliefs, values and thought processes are being continuously shaped by digital interaction and interactivity. The intermingling of the media in everyday life of the youth is also affecting their identity formation. Today in the digital era, the development of self-identity among the youth is influenced by their activities and experiences in the cyberspace. Researchers and scholars from various disciplines like psychology, communication studies and sociology have researched widely on the phenomenon of identity formation. However, the proliferation of the internet in the 21st century has brought new dimensions to the study to include the influences of new media in the, in, in the formation of identity among the youth. In their developing period, the youth goes through various stages and periods of crisis which helps in shaping their identity and leads to possession of a character through the interplay of psychological and social experiences. Thus, the youth's involvement with the internet today has resulted in development with their identity in relation to the internet. Since computer mediated communication lacks the feature of face to face communication, the youth either gets too involved in expressing their identity or become anonymous users of new media. Therefore, in this lecture we will try to understand how the increasing popularity of computer mediated communication is affecting identity formation among the youth, which leads to the conflict in creating identity since the youth often blends their virtual identities and their real identities. This sometimes leads the youth to take refuge in anonymous identity which gives them scope of experimenting with their identities while at other times the youth tends to indulge in self-exposure of their real identities. Therefore, we will also discuss the impacts of such role confusion among the youth as a result of experimenting with identities. Let us begin. In the present global society, the lives of youth are profoundly influenced by the social media and so are their identities. According to the world population, According to the world population prospects of the UN, among the total Indian population of 12.05.6 million youth constitutes 229 million, which is 19 percent. This huge population of youth influences them to construct virtual identities which are often in conflict with their real identities. Sandra Weber and Claudia Michel states, for many young people, especially in the industrialized part of the world, Digital media are significant modalities through which they are seeking consciously or unconsciously the answers to identity questions. The Telecom Regulatory Authority of India TRAI, reports there are 164.81 million internet subscribers in India. As of March 31, 2013, among which three fourths of the internet users are under the age of 35. This indicates how the digital media is deeply embedded into the lives and life, life, lifestyles of the youth, constantly affecting their identity. What does the term identity actually mean? The term identity, derived from the Latin root word idem, means the same, has multiple meanings incurred within it. Identity is something we uniquely possess. 
it is what distinguishes us from the other people. Yet on another hand, identity also implies a relationship with a broader collective or social group of some kind. When we talk about national identity, cultural identity or gender identity for example, we imply that our identity is partly a matter of what we share with other people. However, defining identity in the age of globalization and digital domination is difficult since individuals often construct identities which are fragmented, giving birth to the notions of anonymity and real name. Individuals, especially the young adults, are often playful with their identities in the digital platforms, making an observation on Eric Erickson's concept of identity formation. David Buckingham writes, Erickson sees adolescence as a critical period of identity formation in which individuals overcome under uncertainty, become more self-aware of their strengths and weakness and become more confident in their own unique qualities. In order to move on, adolescents must undergo a crisis in which they address key questions about their values and ideals, their future, occupation, air career and their sexual identity. Though this process of self-reflection and self-definition, adolescents arrive at an integrated coherent sense of their identity as something that persists over time. However, what are the factors that influence one's identity? The factors influencing formation of one's identity are manifold. Erickson describes adolescents as a psychological moratorium or a period during which young adults experiment with different potential identities. Let us discuss these factors. An individual's identity is influenced by various factors such as family. The family is the first unit to, to which an individual belongs. It plays a significant role in carving and molding one's identity by shaping one's beliefs and choices. Factors like family, traditions and cultures, open discussions and religious, political and socio-economic issues amongst the family members help to build one's individuality as well as identity. When a person is confident about his or her religious, social or political choices, it guides the person to build a strong identity. Cultural environment, each individual belongs to a culture group by birth which initially forms a part of his or her identity. At a later stage, the individual may or may not identify with that culture group. Our initiation with culture and identity information, our initiation with culture and identity formation begins with our interaction with the socio-cultural environment in which we are born and later the new cultural spaces we step into like educational institutions, workplaces and social circles. However, the impact of globalization is transforming our cultural identity. Nations are becoming culturally diverse, especially in overpopulated countries like India, resulting in identity crisis. Confusion regarding one's identity arises as various cultural groups blend into each other, often creating multiple identities. Social environment. According to psycho psychoanalyst Eric Erickson, the period of adolescence or emerging adulthood is the most critical and significant period of identity formation. During this stage, an individual experiments with beliefs and values, some of which may have already been inculcated in their mind from childhood, while others are adapted from interaction with friends and peers, which help in shaping his or her identity. He says, there can be two outcomes of this, either positive resulting in formation or personal identity or negative resulting in confusion over adult roles. Along with peer and family influences, factors like caste, creed and class also contributes in forming opinion of oneself. Gender formation. Gender formation of identity is a complex procedure, adolescence is the 
vital stage of this procedure where individuals attempt to explore different roles and lifestyles in order to confirm to the right one. The impact of gender roles in identity formation is a significant aspect especially in the contemporary society where alternative gender orientation is finding acceptability. Researchers have connected the impact of gender in identity formation with parents, with parents upbringing of their children. In adolescence, when identity begins to crystallize, notions about gender begin to develop. Earlier, gender identity was defined on the basis of societal expectations of behavioral norms from a particular gender. However, today the definition of gender is more dynamic and so is identity. Digital platforms, social networks have emerged as significant platforms for communication and interaction providing greater opportunity to satiate the young adults social and emotional needs. The social media provides the perfect environment for self-actualization, self-presentation and self-disclosure to the youth. This is influencing them to shape their identity according to the intensity of their social and emotional presence on the digital platform. Thus, the social medias influence the youth self-identity by creating a digital content where there is free and exhaustive exchange of information. The youth often creates anonymous identity on the digital platform fascinated by the concept to explore alternative version of one's self and to engage in unexplored, reform, unexplored form of interactions resulting in problematizing the definition of real self. Thus, in the age of globalization and digital dominance, identities have become fragmented and dynamic. The youth is in the cycle of ever transforming identities, often confusing the thin line between real and constructed identity. There is also a recent trend among the youth which involves experimenting with a gender identity on the social media platform. Males and females are exchanging roles masking their real identities. Brenda Dunnett observes, motivations for doing so are varied. Men are curious about what it is like to be a woman or seek the attention that female presenting individuals typically receive. Women want to avoid being harassed sexually or to feel free to be more assertive. According to Beth Coco and Elizabeth Reid, the freedom to obscure or recreate aspects of the self online allows the exploration and expression of multiple aspects of human existence. The research on virtual communities is filled with tales of masks for age and race, gender and class, masks for most every aspect of identity. These are tales that do not always have happy endings. The stories of online cross-dressing that bound for example often culminate in narrative of narratives of betrayal. This is increasingly resulting in mistrust among peer groups from a very early age. The youth drawn into confusion about their identity culminates in lack of self-confidence. They increasingly judge themselves according to their acceptance and popularity in the social media platforms often through their fragmented identity. Kolko and Raid also observed the fragmentation of the individual hinders the formation of flexible and resilient online persona. Interpersonal problems require flexibility for resolution. Compromise, change, empathy and negotiability are qualities vital to the continuance of relationships. Thus, the popularity of computer mediated communication among the youth with the explosion of new media has brought transformation in the process of identity formation. The youth is experimenting with their, with their identities like never before condition by the new technology. Moreover, the abundance of social media websites has facilitated 
the experimentation with identities, while some chose to remain anonymous users. Other desire self-revelation and self-exposure in the absence of face-to-face -face communication. However, both forms of identity have adverse impact. Anonymous users tend to generate content on the digital platform that is harmful and undignified. For example, the online social news sites allow commenting to news reports by users irrespective of their identity. Anonymous users often take this opportunity to express feelings of hatred, personal attacks and even write profane comments which might generate widespread debates and violence. Anonymous identities sometimes reflect low self-esteem and low self-confidence of the user so that the user suppresses his or her identity. To interact with an anonymous identity on the social media where others often indulge in overexposure might generate feelings of incompetency and isolation which can foster lifelong psychological infirmity. Anonymous users often take advantage of their disguised identities to commit acts of crime like kidnapping, blackmailing, cyberbullying and other similar heinous activities often at a very early age. On the other hand, young users often tend to indulge in self-expression, self-revelation and self-exposure which sometimes prove to be dangerous because other malicious and mischievous users might use personal information like name, age, a residential address, political and sexual orientation phone number and even bank details. This result in crimes like identity theft and blackmailing. <music> Thus, social media along with the increased intricacies of relationships are influencing the construction of identities which are far removed from real identities. However, researchers have also observed that people who have difficulty in expressing themselves in face-to-face -face interactions are more likely to express their real self in social media platforms. The increased participation in the social media platforms by the youth have fragmented their identities into online and offline. Moreover, the online identity has been further fragmented into real and anonymous, often overlapping into each other. Conclusion. Therefore, I hope this lecture helped you understand that the penetration of new media in the lives of youth has transformed their lifestyle so much so that the youth today talks of their identity as online and offline and further to anonymous and real name. The experiences on the digital platform are increasingly shaping their values and beliefs which as a result affects the formation of identity. We learned that in the absence of face-to-face -face communication, the users often take refuge in anonymous identity which on the other hand reflects low self-esteem and low self-confidence and on the other hand fosters criminal activity by taking advantage of covert identity. At the same time, computer mediated communication also provides impetus to some users, especially the youth to overexpose their real self which they would otherwise conceal in face to face interaction. Thus, computer mediated communication has both risks and opportunities. It sometimes depends upon the user to grasp the opportunity and bypass the risks. For more details, please read the module on this lecture carefully and attempt the questions in the end. Thank you.